Welcome back, everybody, to today's video. Um, we are doing a couple things today. Uh, right now, I'm actually headed up to this lake. As you can see, I've done a fair bit of exploring since our last video. Um, I have some new guns. I've got the 308, and I also have the 300. Um, and for where we're headed, uh, I saw a mule deer. I think I might have seen whitetail, um, moose. Or no, no moose. I didn't see elk, black bear. And we're going to see what we can find up there. Um, I did actually that uh, the mule deer in the video, the last uh, Way of the Hunter video, I actually was able to get my hands on him. And here is that clip. Well, I found the deer. He's at 180 and he is not broadside. But he is just chilling out there. And I'm thinking I should just get out my gun and be ready. But I... Uh, well, for one thing, I definitely need practice in this game. Um, let's see. Is there a zero that's proper? Just gotta wait for him to turn broadside, I guess. I don't want to move a whole lot because I don't want to... Oh, shoot. That's not good. I don't want to lose sight of him. Uh, let's see here. Alright, he's stepping out into the open now, so if I can get him to stop, and hopefully not behind anybody. We can get a shot into him. Right there, maybe? Oh, he went straight down. I imagine we got him pretty good then. Um, cool. Well, that's a four-star mule deer buck. Let's go pick him up. Really, that worked out quite well. I snuck from, like, I don't know, somewhere way over there. And because this game does have quite a bit of realism towards hunting, um, one thing that played out was patience. I just literally sat. I tried to sneak around to get an angle, but I wasn't going to be able to. And then I just kind of sat and watched them. And eventually all of them just moved into this field, as you saw, and started feeding, and he followed. Now we have ourselves a four-star mature mule deer buck. So I guess we'll just take some looks at him quick, and then might as well just go ahead and pick him right up. And... Uh, Oh, he had a heart shot, and then a lung shot, and a right lung, and that's why he just dropped. Cool. Alright, he is a 4 star, 86%. Really cool looking deer. 450. Honestly, I think I'm going to tax it. Um, what I might do is just kind of tax bigger animals of every species as we shoot them, and then just, um, just go ahead and delete them or whatever as we like replace them. So this guy, I think, is going to go into our lodge. Yeah, and so as you can see, we uh, have a uh, nice buck to go visit in the lodge. And hopefully um, hopefully we can add something else. Um, I did record a lodge clip already, but if I get um, something else today, then I'll just record a new one. But yeah, it was a nice buck. Not a level 5, of course, but I'm very happy with a level 4 mature mule deer. Uh, I don't know if he's going to stay where I ended up putting him anyway, but he's uh, pretty cool where he is for now. And I think with that, that's about all the news I have. I am working on upgrading my PC if the frame rate isn't great, because I don't think it's very great. And I'm also looking at upgrading my microphone. But I don't know when that's all going to happen. Probably not for a bit. So I also need a new monitor on top of that. But for now, I'm going to try to keep putting out quality videos, or at least as good a quality as I can. But let's see what we can find today. Well, we have some elk calling to us down here. Not to us, but they're calling. And I can't get a visual on them. They're in a very thick area. But I'd like to because I have not shot an elk yet in this game. So I'm just going to try and take my time. Or just, we're at the lake now. And I don't know where I'm going to be able to get a view on these elk. Well, as you can see, I found the elk, and I don't see anything very big. There's a one-star adult, which I guess would be a good one maybe to shoot. I mean, hard to say what he would become, but he doesn't look very big, so it might just be the way to do it here. So maybe we just do that. Try and get some animal down. 
Let's zero a little more properly. That should be a very good hit. That one looks decent too, but nothing looks huge. But we got ourselves an elk that's shot, and I'm pretty sure shot well. Can't stand up here. Um, so let's go run over, and uh, I can already see the blood. It looks like a good hit. Let's go run over and see what we're dealing with. I mean, we already know he's not going to be that big. But I don't know what they give for cash yet or anything. So, yeah, I'm interested to see their models up close. And now for the tracking, of course, the fun part. We do have a medium amount of blood. And I believe he went up the hill. So I'm just going to go ahead and start tracking this guy. And um, hopefully he didn't go too far. And our elk is laying just up here. He didn't run very far. Better make sure I'm not going to spook anything else that I could shoot. Well, you can see pretty good right here. Yeah, there's the herd. That one in the back looks... Yeah, it's a one-star mature. I doubt he's going to cooperate, but I'd, I'd put a bullet into him. There's more up there. I'm going to move over here and maybe I can... Sneak a shot through the trees. Two star mature. Let's get a shot into him, maybe. If I can get my gun out in time. Alright, let's see. Now I don't know which one he is. But they're definitely in a way where I can shoot. That's him. Oh, they're actually coming back right now. I'll shoot that guy if I get a window at him. I don't actually think I shot the correct one, but I definitely got another elk down, so I'm going to go ahead and just mark that spot. And we'll pick up this guy while we're here. And he is a small elk. Decent amount of money you get for him. What is he? I forget now. I think he was a yeah one star adult. So he would have gotten bigger, but probably not that much bigger. And we had a good shot into him. Don't want to taxidermy him. And now, let's go see what this other guy is, and I guess if I can just keep chasing the herd, I'll, I can get better views and pick out maybe better elk, but I think I'll go back to this lake and try and get something different. We had an even better hit on this guy. He, there's blood all over here. And I'm just going to have to figure out which way he went, and then we, I'm sure, we will find him there's some blood quite quickly. And is that? Oh, that's a moose. Now that I would like to get, because they pay out very good. So once I, there's our elk already, once I get the elk, I think we'll take a peek over there and see. They spook very easily too though, so I'm probably gonna have to walk slowly. But, uh, yeah, let's go see if we can get a moose. Of course I had to pick up our elk first. I don't know which one I actually shot, I hope it wasn't a young one. Okay, this is a one star mature, good one to shoot. Um... And he was a left lung and right lung. Yep, we got him real good. And we're gonna sell him for some money. And let's go take a look at those elk, or uh, moose. Well, I don't see a bull moose, but I have to imagine there was one with her. So I could just shoot her. I think I probably will just for the free, well, not free, but for the money. And I just really wish I could see if there was a bull. But, uh, yeah, she's there. I've got a shot window, so I guess I might as well just go ahead and take that. She should be hit pretty good. I did not hear anybody else run off, so I'm thinking she was the only one. Anyway, we got ourselves a cow moose then. And I need to stand up. So I'm going to go run over here and see how I hit her, and then go track her down. Just heard running. There we go. Uh, that was the elk from before that are running away. Let's go see what we get for cash from a cow moose. All right, here's our cow moose. We did hit her good. Um, that model looks really good. And I hit her in the lungs. And did not have a whole ton of power. Did I shoot her at the right gun? Yeah, I did. Interesting. But it went through and did plenty of damage to take her down. And we'll get 700 bucks for her. That's nice. That'll help a lot. 
Um, I guess I'm not sure what next to do. We could go, let's go continue, let's actually work back to that lake, because I never really did check for, um, for mule deer, whitetail, any of that. So I'll go check the lake, and then we will probably wrap it up. Well, there is a one-star mature buck out there. Um, I might as well try and get him. I guess I'll get the gun out and get ready. I think this will be my first deer with the 308 too, assuming I can get him. Let's see, it's about 250. Well, oh, I don't want a zero for 900. All right. Oh, he's taking a step. I'm gonna go ahead and crouch too. Get a little extra steadiness. That should be a good hit. And I'm gonna watch him, because I can probably just mark where he is. In fact, I think he just went down right there. Alright, well, our deer is down already. There's a bunch of whitetail, too. Yeah, see, this lake is actually pretty uh, pretty good overall. What else did I spook off? There's a uh, elk alerted, actually. I can probably get a shot at it. Hurry up here. It's a one-star adult, but extra money is always nice. So if I can maybe hurry a little... Actually, what's that one? Oh boy, I'm all over the place now. What is that? One star mature. That's the one I'm going to want to shoot. Let's go ahead and get a shot into him. And he's going to trot. I'm not going to try that shot. He's an adult anyway. I'll let him age probably. This one is going to go down. Is he going to go down? I mean, he's going to go down, but I don't know when. I'm going to mark this blood, actually, because I kind of know where the the mule deer went down. But yeah, anyway, you saw that whitetail, mule deer, elk, uh, and I didn't see moose. Or no, I did, actually. I just jumped some moose out of here when I came down, actually. So this lake that is right here uh, is pretty good for a lot of things. I would check it out. All right, I found our deer. This is a one-star mature mule deer. Nothing too special, but we did hit it. Let's see. Left lung, right lung, 250 meters. And I think I hit cell. I hope I hit cell. And our elk should be laying not too far over that hill, because I can see his blood trail right there. I don't see anything else. I don't want to run over there and spook something away that might have been coming in. But it looks like we're good to go get our elk, so I'm going to go ahead and run over there and do that. Okay, here's our elk. He is a one-star mature, if I remember correctly. We hit him both lungs. And, yep, one-star mature. 48%. And, yeah, we're making uh, 500 bucks now. We got quite a bit of money. Um, let's see, what am I saving up for? I would like to get the Lapua. So we got to look at the elk, uh, cow moose, and um, another mule deer today. I suppose I could head back to the lodge and take a look. And a lot of times there's a... Um, there is a herd of muleys right out in front. We can take a look at that too. Well, no muleys out there today, so I think it's time to take a look at our mule deer. And oh, and then this is also, this is Hollywood from the campaign. I just did a little bit of campaign playing. Got him, or the story mode, I mean. And then I also got the black uh, bighorn. I just put them in here. I don't know that I'll keep them once it starts filling up. Uh, I'll likely replace them. But for the time being, they'll work there. And we do have our big four-star mature mule deer buck. I am extremely happy having him in the lodge. He's so cool looking. I would love to get a five-star, and I probably will keep him no matter what. Put him with the five-star maybe. But I like where he is right now, looking out the window, the sun's on him. I just think it's a very cool pose. I uh, actually greatly prefer their antlers over Call of the Wild's um, mule deer antlers, but uh, nonetheless, this is a fantastic looking animal, and the models look great. I mean, everything about it's awesome. I had a lot of fun hunting it. And let's see, what else? Well, I think we're going to probably try Transylvania next and go to uh, go for like Red Deer. I forget what's all on there, but probably mostly Red Deer. And uh, hopefully we get some stuff in the lodge over there. And I think we'll be back in, um, I'm thinking, Reventuli Coast in the next video. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.